Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So in the last episode, if you remember, I did mention about the carbon credit and what it means and how do you measure it kind of stuff, right? Uh, today I'm going to set up uh, data so that we can look at it, how you can allocate a carbon credit, right? So the first thing first, right? You need to, if you go to Net Zero Cloud, right? If you log into Net Zero Cloud, uh, let me log into the Net Zero Cloud first, right? Uh, and then we we'll talk about it because I haven't even logged into it. I'd, okay, so once you log into Netzio Cloud, you need to look for uh, first of all the carbon credit project because now you must be wondering what is a carbon credit project. If you remember, I mentioned that you know if I as a company, let's say for instance, let, let's take an example of uh, Inspire the Solution, right? We are planning to go net zero by 2030 that's the aim so if we as a company wants to go net zero we need to know uh, how we can contribute to that right because for that we need to know understand our uh, carbon emission right uh, we need to understand the things which we can mitigate so let's say you know we recognize that certain things we we have no control over so uh, to offset that we would love to invest in a carbon project, okay? So when you invest in a carbon project, you end up in buying a carbon credit, right? So which kind of projects you can in, uh, invest, as you remember, uh, you can invest in a project like which is like avoidance, you know, to um, to not to pollute the environment, or you can invest in, say, you know, for instance, uh, to, uh, uh, to suck up the uh, the meat and gas, right? You can invest in that project as well. And once the uh, once that gets um, uh, decided, once that gets selected, we need to store information about the supplier uh, we'll be getting involved with, and also we need to store information about the uh, the carbon credit purchase. So all these things needs to be stored. Um, uh, in Net Zero Cloud, obviously, you know, what will happen is that you might be buying the carbon credits from different suppliers or from a marketplace. So it needs to be all in the one place, right? Otherwise, it's a nightmare to keep track of all this information. So uh, that's where the Net Zero uh, comes pretty handy. So what, what I'm going to do, uh, I will go here and uh, so I'll, as you can see, I logged into my org, right? So go to this tic tac toe icon, and I will say carbon uh, credit project. So for whatever reason, if you can't find it, right? Say for you know I can't find it. You've been trying hard. You you know uh, you go to object manager, right? And you can see that carbon credit project object is there, which is a standard object. But for some reason you can't find it. Now what could be the reason? The reason is pretty uh, obvious. So you haven't turned on that option yet. So how to do that, you go to setup, right? And under setup, what do you do? Go to uh, net zero, um, net zero settings. So one of the settings, right? The, uh, something to do with the project. Uh, carbon, uh, allocate carbon project. So it should be ticked. So what I did, I ticked all of it, right? So, um, so most of this was unticked. So when it was unticked, I couldn't say it. So let me show you a very simple example, right? You can see the carbon project, right? You can see here. Um, I think I unticked allocate carbon. I think this is what I did. And manage. Okay, I did. Okay, let's untick this one. No, not this one. Uh, I forgot which one I take, but let me. Okay, I refreshed it. Okay, carbon. You see that project is gone, right? I can't create a project. Where is the carbon credit project? There's none. So, so that could happen so if you untick the options there right so just wanted to show you guys because if you, what might happen is that hey 
I can't see the damn carbon credit project. So that's one of the reasons why I can't see it because the setting is not configured properly. Um, and obviously, you need to look at your profile as well, right? Or permission set. Okay, carbon. Okay, carbon credit project. Um, or I'll do, I will create one. Let me create one. Uh, like I said, the methane removal of methane gas, right? Mitigation type, removal, right? So this is a project. There are, there are four types, right? You can avoid it. You can just use it. You can, uh, there's a sequestration. And I, I mentioned about this in the previous episode. Um, if you haven't watched it, I would highly encourage you to check that out, right? Project type. Uh, which one you, you are after? Um, let's say um, renewable energy. Let me say renewable energy one, right? Okay, I'll do that. Um, you can also add the types, I presume. Uh, then I will do what I'll do. I will look for uh, come on, sustainability something, sustainability purchase. So obviously, what I've done, right? I've, I've decided that I wanted to uh, invest in a carbon credit project, the so carbon project, okay, which will help me buy a carbon credit, right, to offset the emission. So the which project I'm going to invest in, I'll be investing in a project which will, you know, absorb the methane gas from the air. Sorry, I used the, the, uh, the not very politically correct terminology of you know absorbing meat and yes before my apologies for that um, so once that is done right which is pretty cool uh, you obviously need to you know uh, jot down the information in your system about the supplier so that exactly what we're going to do sustainable it means uh, you wanted to store information about the purchase you've done so I'm going to do new and I will say methane gas absorption whatever that is yeah carbon credit which is great and the broker do you have a supplier okay I don't have a supplier so I just gotta say methane supplier methane removal account I'll just link to this one doesn't matter Okay, I, I think I can't link it, so I'll just do new. Okay, maintain removal. I'm just creating an account. Okay, just done. Okay, so I'll just save. All right, so because for some reason the other account was used elsewhere, so I can't use it, so I'll create a new account, uh, which is pretty cool, right? You can put the address, you know, whatever you wanted to say test okay I say US this whatever um, you just have to put the right address with the supplier but for now it's great uh, okay so now I've created a uh, so we got a carbon project in in place right um, and then now we got a supplier information in place as well now we need to record uh, uh, this carbon project uh, credit information. So what I'll do, I will go to uh, sus sustainability credit, okay, and I will do new and carbon credit project. So removal of methane gas, sustainability purchase. This is methane gas absorber status. It's I don't care about it for now. Which date the credit is issued? Uh, Say fifth today, and if you wanted to retire, you can put the retiring date. Um, supplier, this is a supplier, yeah. And then you have to credit purchase how many credits you bought. Let's say I bought 300, and cost per unit, we'll say 50. Purchase date, you're gonna say today, you're gonna say save, okay. So I'm storing information about the sustainability credit. And which contains information like your carbon credit project, uh, how much you bought. That's here. I bought 300 credits, and what's the credits uh, cost per unit? That's 50 bucks. 
and yeah, and I got 300 credits available, carbon credits. So this is how you set up a data, right? If you wanted to allocate. So because allocation of a carbon credit is the simple a task, but the real thing that you have to pay attention to uh, is to set up the data, right? You need to have the right data in place. If you don't have the right data in place, you can't really allocate the carbon credit, yeah? So three things, remember, uh, what we did, we just uh, created a carbon project, then create a sustainability uh, purchase record, then we created a sustainability credit record, okay? So sustainability credit record will contain uh, information about your carbon project and the sustainability uh, purchase information, and also the information about the supplier, right? Okay, so that's pretty much I wanted to talk about uh, in this episode. Just one interesting thing I just wanted to mention that um, one of the recruiter, you know, I've been, you know, I know a recruiter from a uh, Sydney, Australia. Um, so, you know, uh, we get to chat here and there, right? And he sent out a survey, aims at sales for survey. And in that, I've, I kind of realized that, uh, you know, the highest usage when it comes to Salesforce cloud is still the sales cloud and the service cloud, right? These two clouds like service cloud, uh, sales clouds are the most popular one and, and companies use the most. Uh, net zero cloud, the adoption rate is just 1%. Yes, it's a new cloud, you know, it will take some time to capture the tension because obviously, you know, it is a source of the climate change. And climate change is a very critical topic, right? Something which I'm passionate about. Um, and something which we as a civilization should pay proper attention to, right? Like I always say, we talk about cows generating. New Zealand had a, um, a report a long time ago. Oh, cows producing a lot of methane because we got a lot of cows. Now, if you arrive to talk to that stage, that means we are really in a bad state, right? We shouldn't be talking about cows methane at this stage, right? Because we should be having technologically uh, advanced machines to, you know, absorb the methane released by animals from the air, right, to offset it. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, most of the countries have contributed so much to the world uh, pollution. Um, I don't want to name anybody, but, you know, you can make it out which countries, right? Uh, so to keep that, you know, to commitment, you know, my, I'm starting... Uh, Protect Planet Foundation. Uh, it's a non-profit. And it's in starting in New Zealand, right? Um, so the main aim of this is to build deep learning uh, models uh, about using the, uh, the data set that's available from the government agencies like New Zealand has it, Australia has it, United States has it, um, um, UK has it, Sweden has it, Denmark has it. So just the main aim is just to, you know, showcase that model to the world governments, right? That I mean, I will go to a uh, Labour Party in New Zealand to say, hey, this is what the climate change forecast looks like. Are you doing something about it? We got a Green Party uh, in New Zealand, which is uh, pretty active in, you know, talking about climate change. So I can go to the Green Party and say, hey, this is what the model looks like. This is the forecast looks like. If you don't do much, well, recently we had an Auckland flood. So that's, you know, something, let's talk about smart cities kind of stuff, right? So... Um, yeah, so, and then um, another thing, I'm working on a climate change book for dummies, so that will be out very soon. Um, so, yeah, a lot of exciting thing happening, right? A lot of exciting. I'm extremely busy, right? You know, my team size has grown. Uh, we, I will hire a few people in New Zealand. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not looking to hire anybody from overseas because I wanted to, because my main interest is to create job opportunities for or people in New Zealand, because I'm committed to, you know, make my city where I live the best city in the world. That's that's my main interest, right? I'm, I'm that's my whole interest is just to look after my country I live in, right? So create an opportunity for the people so that you know, so that we can all contribute, right, towards this um, the the challenge with the world is facing. That's a climate change, you know. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a tiny update. And um, and then someone asked me, I just wanted to that, you know, how do you get to do all of this stuff, right? Or I just tell them that I do, I don't spend too much of time on doing a lot of things, right? I have a family, I spend time with my family, family is very important to me. I just, only thing I do, I do consistently, you know, every single day, 
you know, for me, consistency is a matter. I don't, you know, I don't, um, I count my, you know, I write down the hours every single day, things I need to do, like, you know, wake up at five in the morning, what I should be doing five to six. I write a journal every single day, right? I, because I'm very stingy with my time. I don't share my time unless I think I'll get a higher return on investment, right? Excluding the family, right? For family, you can't consider anything about ROI because family is family, right? Comes first always, right? So, so that's one of the. I mean, you can start, you know, anything you want, right? I mean, at the end of the day, because if you're living in a first world country, opportunity, we are gifted with equal opportunity, right? You got free schooling, we got free healthcare, at least from a New Zealand perspective. I don't know about other countries, but. So, you know, you can do whatever you want, right? You can create a magic in your own life. It's just up to you, right? So, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk in this episode. Hope you guys have an amazing uh, Wednesday. Adios.